Hey what is up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to something a little bit different. This is TT Isle of Man Ride on the Edge 3. Obviously the third entries in this series, one that has spanned a good few years now and has kind of put itself in a very nice niche in terms of the racing genre and especially the kind of motorbike racing genre. But the first thing I do want to say is a big thank you to the devs for basically sending me over a code and basically allowing me to go through it, review it, and talk about exactly what I want when it comes to this game. Now, I've not been given any limitations, so you will be getting my fully honest opinion. They haven't said that I, you know, have, you know, I'm not allowed to talk bad about it or anything. Uh, there is a few things that I will actually talk about um, that I might not particularly like. But overall, so far, I'm having a very positive experience with this game. So let's get into it with some early impressions. So let's go straight away with the positives. To be honest, there's quite a few here. And the main thing I do want to say is it is genuinely a fun game. Now, if you've ever played any of these games before, uh, I started out way back in the day, uh, well, what feels like forever now, with the original version of this game, so the first in the series. And in all honesty, I wasn't overly impressed. Although it felt like there was potential there, it felt different, it just didn't feel, I guess, overall as polished as I would have liked it. Number two comes along and basically took everything that I didn't like from the first one and just made it a fantastic game. At that point, I absolutely fell in love with these games. And in all honesty, the third one seems very similar to the second in the fact that it takes a lot of things from those first two games and basically makes it even better. And overall, this is a fantastic game gameplay wise. You know, I really cannot complain. It is fun. It's completely different. And one of the best experiences that I actually have with this entire game is the fact that you can now free roam absolutely anywhere on the map. It's a very very big map to be quite honest and although you know it's the isle of man it's not going to be overly or the most luscious or detailed environment you've ever seen you know it is still pretty much true to, to life it really does feel like you are on these roads let's talk about the graphics next and this is one that i want to touch on now maybe it is just me as someone that plays a lot of the likes of gran turismo 7 and stuff some very kind of visual pushing games this game overall really didn't impress me too much with the visuals However, over time, when I realized just how big the play area was that you can, you know, ride around, it, I just kind of started getting this feeling like, do you know what? Yeah, these are acceptable graphics. You know, they're nothing too mind-blowing. Uh, they're definitely not ugly. There's some really nice effects. Um, the way the buildings look, the way the walls look as you go in at speed, all looks very nice. But overall, don't expect to be absolutely mind-blown by the graphics. I certainly wasn't, but they are still... Um, decent enough they do do the job um, but there is times where I kind of look at some of the textures and stuff and think yeah this doesn't really look too kind of next genny now let's talk about the main thing in this game obviously the main star of the show not only the map it's going to be the bikes so in all honesty what are the bikes like I think this is something that kind of makes or breaks bike racing games so if we look at MotoGP that's gone from you know fairly arcade to a lot more sim like in recent times and I know there's been a lot of people that have either you know been very for that or very against that and just kind of turned away from the series as a whole I know for me after I skipped a couple of series and started out with the likes of MotoGP 21 I was a little bit kind of shook up with you know how serious it was it was a completely different game I didn't like it at first however I've since adjusted to the more sim like bike games this one isle of man tt uh, basically does a very very good middle ground so you can be as beginner as you want with the bike physics or you can turn it up a notch and go as realistic as you want where the bikes feel more in line with something like moto gp does you know kind of feel these days Basically, what I'm saying is this is a very accessible game, whether you are new to bike games or you're a you know seasoned vet that's you know die hard at bike games and it's the only thing you'll play, there's definitely going to be a difficulty uh, for you and a riding style for you. So yeah, you can change the physics, it's very open um, about that. Now, you may have just kind of noticed this in the background, glitches. Is there any, I guess, game-breaking glitches? And there is sort of one and it's the grass that you saw there sometimes you will go on a track and there does seem to be grass just random textured grass in the middle of it 
I've had it once and once only. However, the devs are very much aware um, what is going on, basically, and they've said they're working on a fix for this as soon as possible. So that should realistically be gone. You know, if you go and purchase this game down the line after watching this video, it might not even be a thing anymore. But that is the only kind of glitch or anything kind of remotely game-breaking that I have seen so far for this game. Now something to note as well alongside the bikes you have the super sport and the super bikes so there's two separate categories I believe they're all based on the 2022 season uh, so yeah there is a decent selection of bikes all the bikes felt very different the one you're seeing in the background here is the one that I'm mainly using for my single player um, kind of career mode which is a Honda it felt a very revy very loud um, and then you've got the likes of the triumphs and such that all feel very very different um, none of them feel you know kind of copy and pasted over which I think is a fantastic thing so overall these are just some early impressions I will cover this game entirely I'll be playing it I'll be doing a walkthrough and kind of some guides as well as my full end game review view um, a little bit later on down the line so thank you so much to the devs for sending me a code thank you so much for you guys watching i just wanted to try something a little bit different and i'm absolutely loving my time with this game it has released today by the way for all platforms go and give it a look if you want to uh, you know have a bit of bike fun see you later guys